Hepadnaviridae, Wikipedia Audio Hepadnaviridae is a family of viruses. Humans, apes, and birds serve as natural hosts. There are currently seven species in this family, divided among two genera. Its best known member is the hepatitis B virus. Diseases associated with this family include liver infections, such as hepatitis, hepatocellular carcinomas, and cirrhosis. Group Dstnart Taxonomy A new virus has been described in fish, white sucker hepatitis B virus. This is the first hepadenovirus described from fish. While clearly a hepadenovirus it appears only to be distantly related to the previously described genera and will almost certainly be placed in a new genus. Several other viruses have been described from fish and from a frog, bluegill hepadenovirus, African cichlid hepadenovirus and Tibetan frog hepadenovirus. It seems likely that new genera in this family will need to be created. Although liver diseases transmissible among human populations were identified early in the history of medicine, the first known hepatitis with a viral etiological agent was hepatitis A, in the P. cornaviridae family. Hepatitis B virus was identified as an infection distinct from hepatitis A through its contamination of measles, mumps, and yellow fever vaccines in the 1930s and 1940s. These vaccines contained HBV-infected human serum as a stabilizing agent. HBV was identified as a new DNA virus in the 1960s, followed a couple of decades later by the discovery of the Flavivirus hepatitis C. HBV was first identified in the lab as the Australia agent by Bloomberg and colleagues in the blood of an Aboriginal transfusion patient. This work earned Bloomberg the 1976 Nobel Prize in Medicine. Hepadenoviruses have very small genomes of partially double-stranded, partially single-stranded circular DNA. The genome consists of two strands, a longer negative sense strand and a shorter and positive sense strand of variable length. In the virion these strands are arranged such that the two ends of the long strand meet but are not covalently bonded together. The shorter strand overlaps this divide and is connected to the longer strand on either side of the split through a direct repeat segment that pairs the two strands together. In replication, this PDS genome is converted in the host cell nucleus to covalently closed circular DNA by the viral polymerase. As it is a group 7 virus, replication involves an RNA intermediate. Four main open reading frames are encoded and the virus has four known genes which encode seven proteins, the core capsid protein, the viral polymerase, surface antigens PRES1, PRES2, and S, the X protein and HBIG. The X protein is thought to be non-structural. Its function and significance are poorly understood but it is suspected to be associated with host gene expression modulation. Hepidnaviridae encode their own polymerase, rather than co-opting host machinery as some other viruses do. This enzyme is unique among viral polymerases in that it has reverse transcriptase activity to convert RNA into DNA to replicate the genome, RNA-SE activity, and DNA-dependent DNA polymerase activity. The hepatitis envelope proteins are composed of subunits made from the viral PRES1, PRES2, and S genes. The L envelope protein contains all three subunits. The M protein contains only PRES2 and S. The S protein contains only S. The genome portions encoding these envelope protein subuntis share both the same frame and the same stop codon, followed directly by the pre-S2 and the S. When a transcript is made from the beginning of the pre-S1 region, 
all three genes are included in the transcript and the L protein is produced. When the transcript starts after the pro-S1 at the beginning of the pre-S2 the final protein contains the pre-S2 and S subunits only and therefore is an M protein. The smallest envelope protein containing just the S subunit is made most because it is encoded closest to the three end and comes from the shortest transcript. These envelope proteins can assemble independently of the viral capsid and genome into non-infectious virus-like particles that give the virus a pleomorphic appearance and promote a strong immune response in hosts. Hepidnoviruses replicate through an RNA intermediate. The reverse transcriptase becomes covalently linked to a short 3 or 4 nucleotide primer. Most hepidnoviruses will only replicate in specific hosts, and this makes experiments using in vitro methods very difficult. The virus binds to specific receptors on cells and the core particle enters the cell cytoplasm. This is then translocated to the nucleus, where the partially double-stranded DNA is repaired by the viral polymerase to form a complete circular DSDNA genome. The genome then undergoes transcription by the host cell RNA polymerase and the pregenomic RNA is sent out of the nucleus. The pgRNA is inserted into an assembled viral capsid containing the viral polymerase. Inside this capsid the genome is converted from RNA to pDSDNA through activity of the polymerase as an RNA-dependent DNA polymerase and subsequently as an RNA-SE to eliminate the pgRNA transcript. These new virions either leave the cell to infect others or are immediately dismantled so the new viral genomes can enter the nucleus and magnify the infection. The virions that leave the cell egress through budding. History and Discovery Viruses in Hepidnaviridae are enveloped, with spherical geometries, and T equals 4 symmetry. The diameter is around 42 nm. Genomes are circular, around 3.2 kb in length. The genome codes for 7 proteins. Based on the presence of viral genomes in bird DNA it appears that the hepatoviruses evolved 82 million years ago. Birds may be the original hosts of the hepatovirus with mammals becoming infected after a bird mammal host switch. Endogenous hepatitis B virus genomes have been described in crocodilian, snake and turtle genomes. This suggests that these viruses have infected vertebrates for over 200 million years ago. Hepatitis viruses have been described in fish and amphibians also. This suggests that this family has CO evolved with the vertebrates. A family of viruses, the Nacodnaviridae, has been isolated from fish. This family has a similar genomic organization to that of the Hepidnaviridae. These two families separated over 400 million years ago suggesting an ancient origin for the Hepidnaviridae. Hepidnaviruses, as their Hepa name implies, infect liver cells and cause hepatitis. This is true not only of the human pathogen hepatitis B virus but also the hepidnaviruses that infect other organisms. The adhesion step of the dynamic phase in which an exterior viral protein stably interacts with a host cell protein determines cell tropism. In the case of HBV the host receptor is human sodium toricolate receptor, a mediator of bile acid uptake and the virus antireceptor is the abundant HBAGS envelope protein. Genome Viral polymerase Envelope proteins Replication Structure Evolution Cell tropism Notes <laughs>